Internal Revenue Service, IRS tax news, dirty dozen. IRS warns of scammers offering, quote, help, end quote, to set up an online account, create identity theft risk for honest taxpayers. Everyone hates scammers, but honestly, the IRS calling other people dirty for, for taking strangers' money is like the Sandman calling people dirty for taking off their shoes and walking on the beach because, like, their feet will get sandy and dirty, you know? I mean, I mean, it's like, it's like the Bidens calling corporations dirty for accepting money from foreign countries. I mean, at, at, at least the companies were exchanging goods and services for the money they received. I mean, it's not like some foreign power company was paying massive amounts of money to get advice on how to run an energy business from a crackhead. I mean, seriously. I mean, just as a casual observer, it seems like paying a crackhead for advice on running an energy company doesn't sound like an arm's length, you know, fair market value transaction. I mean, I'm just saying, but whatever. I'm sure I don't, I don't understand the situation. But in any case, all I'm saying is beware of those offering free, quote, help, end quote. Because it's always the ones that are so insistent on, quote, helping, end quote, you need to watch out for. Like, it's like some department store clerk working on commission, following you around the store. They're like, I'm an expert in fashion. Are you sure you don't want to try on this jacket? And it's like, for the 20th time, no. Leave me alone for crying out loud. I'm telling you. Like, when I, when I, first, when I bought my first suit to try to land an accounting job, the dang clerk convinced me a standard black or blue suit was not bold enough. So I walked out of there with a green suit. You know, I'm, co I'm convinced I lost like 20 job offers just due to that suit. I'm telling you. Thanks for the help, man. It's like, it's like with President Biden helping people out with raising prices by passing like an Inflation Reduction Act. Which just spends a bunch more money on stuff he wants. Presumably increasing inflation. And they're like, they're like, no, no. The government spending massive amounts of money doesn't cause inflation. It's like, yeah, right. The dang, dang scammers. They're all the same, I tell you. I trust them about as far as Anthony Fauci can throw them. Dr. Anthony Fauci. IRA 2023-54, March 22nd, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today warned taxpayers to watch out for scammers who try to sell or offer help setting up an online account on IRS.gov, the IRS website that puts their tax and financial information at risk of identity theft. So I think the scam here would be someone saying they're going to help someone else out to set up their online account with the IRS on the IRS website, irs.gov, and in doing so, they're going to try to get access to the account themselves, possibly stealing information, identity information that can help them file fraudulent tax returns. Now, note there's a couple things to keep in mind with this whole scam. One is that the IRS website has been a little bit slow in setting up their online account access in a similar fashion as other other private institutions that also deal with personal information. In other words, at this point in time, most people have banking information that they actually work through and they log in with an online account into their banking information, which is obviously kind of personal information. The IRS has been a little bit more hesitant to do that, so they now have the capacity to log into an IRS uh, account for an individual, but it hasn't been something that many taxpayers have needed to really use. They only kind of log in or try to set that up when they need information, like a transcript or something. But as things get more complex going into the future, I would think that they would need to be setting up these, these IRS accounts or the online accounts could be more and more of a system that can be helpful as they're changing things going forward. So for example, when they gave out the stimulus payments or when they gave out prepayments for the child tax credit, those are things that it would be useful to see on an online account. Every time they give out a, a change or a letter or something like that, it would make more sense for people to look at their online account uh, to see that kind of information. So I think the IRS is trying to set up these online accounts right now 
while also kind of saying or explaining why they didn't do it earlier when obviously the private market, even for financial or sensitive information, has been doing this for uh, some time. Okay, so the IRS online account provides valuable tax information for people, but this information in the wrong hands can provide important information to help an identity thief try to submit a fraudulent tax return in the person's name in hopes of getting a big refund. So one of the big things these days is the identity theft. If they steal your information and can file a fraudulent tax return, they're usually, you would think, looking for those refundable tax credits, those tax credits you can get even if your income goes below uh, zero. So if they pull your information, they can get that and they can possibly try to try to get your refund or, or file for a fraudulent return. So people should watch out for these scams. Artists offering to help to set up these accounts because these are identity theft uh, attempts to run off with the taxpayer's personal or financial information. These third-party online account scams are part of day three of the IRS annual Dirty Dozen campaign. There's a link to that here. Quote, scammers are coming up with new ways all the time to try and steal information from taxpayers. End quote, said IRS Commissioner Danny Warfell. Quote, an online account at irs.gov, irs.gov can help taxpayers view important details about their tax situation. But scammers are trying to convince people they need to help setting up an account. In reality, no help is needed. It used to be actually somewhat of a complex system. The IRS, I still always have to say this, they tried to put in that facial recognition stuff for part of their ID system, which was a mess and just seemed a little over intrusive. Do you really need my facial recognition information? Because no financial institution is doing that at this point in time. I could just imagine them putting cameras everywhere like I, like in China or something and they're just scanning everybody's face as they walk like three feet up. Anyways, but they stopped that, that now. So it, should be, it shouldn't be too difficult of a process to set up your account because again, financial institutions are doing it and most people are not having a problem with it. So you would think they would be able to mirror something similar on the IRS side, I think. So this is just a scam to obtain valuable and sensitive inf tax information that scammers will use to try stealing a refund. People should be wary and avoid sharing sensitive personal data over the phone, email, or social media to avoid getting caught up in these scams, end quote. The Dirty Dozen is an annual IRS list of 12 scams and schemes that put together uh, that put taxpayers in the tax professional community at risk of losing money, personal data, and more. Some items on the list are new, and some make a return visit. While the list is not a legal document or a formal listing of agency inform, uh, enforcement priorities, it is intended to alert taxpayers, businesses, and tax preparers about scams at large. As a member of the Security Summit, the IRS with state tax agencies and the nation's tax industry have taken numerous steps over the last eight years to warn people to watch out for common scams and schemes each tax season, including tax-related identity theft. The Justice League over here. The Justice League. All right, in any case. So uh, along with the Security Summit initiative, the Dirty Dozen aims to protect taxpayers, businesses, and the tax system from identity thieves and various hoaxes designed to steal money and information, including this new online account scheme. IRS online account, steer clear of help from third-party scammers. Just do it yourself, man. Those third-party scammers trying to help you out aren't doing nothing for you. They ain't doing nothing good for you. Just steal your stuff. So in this scam targeting individuals, swindlers pose as the swindlers. I like that. Pose as, quote, helpful, end quote, third party and offer to help create a taxpayer's IRS online account at irs.gov. But we don't need no help. That's not, he ain't helping us over here. We can see through that game. People should remember they can set uh, these accounts up themselves. Right. You do it yourself, dang it. But third parties make these offers uh, will try to steal a taxpayer's personal information this way. Taxpayers can and should establish their own online account at irs.gov, irs.gov, the irs.website, go, the irs.gov, fee for victory over tax stuff. 
These scammers often ask for the taxpayer's personal information, including address, social security number, or individual taxpayer identification number, the I-10, and photo identification. The criminal then sells this valuable information to other criminals. They can also use the sensitive information to file fraudulent tax returns, obtain loans, and open credit cards accounts. Those scoundrels. The IRS urges people to watch out for these, quote, helpful, end quote, criminals. That means they're not really helpful. That's sarcasm. So the only place uh, individuals should go to create an online uh, IR, an IRS online account is IRS.gov. So obviously, if you're not on the IRS.gov uh, website, that's clearly an indication that the scammer is, is super scamming right there. People should not use third-party assistance other than approved IRS authentication process through IRS.gov to create their own IRS account. So uh, help stop fraud and scams as part of the Dirty Dirty Dozen awareness effort. The IRS encourages people to report individuals who promote improper and abusive tax schemes as well as tax return preparers who deliberately prepare improper returns. To report an abusive tax scheme or a tax return preparer, people should mail or fax a completed form 14242, report suspended abusive tax promotions or preparers, there's a link to that here, and any supporting material to the IRS Lead Development Center and the Office of Promoter Investigation. There's a link, there's an email address here or a mail, a normal address if you want to use that, if you're if that, if that's old fashioned. Alternatively, taxpayers and tax uh, practitioners may send this information to the IRS whistleblower office. There's a link to that there so you can blow a whistle at them. Uh, for possible, don't do it too loud though. Don't, you don't want to hurt anyone's eardrums when you're blowing whistles. But in any case, uh, you can also, for more information, you can see the abusive tax schemes and abusive tax return preparers. There's links to that stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.